This is downtown Presque Isle. Uh, it's my hometown. It's a place where I grew up. Um, you know, went to Presque Isle High School right up the road here. There's a number of iconic places in Presque Isle that, you know, after everything was pretty much shut down, there's a number that did, just never opened up again. Those losses are pretty much all attributable to the policies that were put in place. I'm a, I'm a legislator, I've been a legislator for five years, and when people reach out to me and say, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, I don't have a good answer for them because there's one person in the state that's making all the rules for everybody and they're applying the same standards here in Presque Isle and down in Patton and all over the county that they would use in Portland. And it doesn't make any sense. You know, there doesn't seem to be any, any acknowledgement of that by the governor. And uh, it's been a really rough year. No, it's really hard to see what's become of this town that I've called home for my whole life. Um, to see, you know, close signs on businesses that we didn't think were going to close, that were iconic places here. That, that restaurant closed down, that was Cafe Suppresso. The Mai Tai, there was a bar out back there, that's been closed since March. The Braden Movie Theater in town hasn't been open for a year. You know, we've lost jobs, we've lost jobs, we've lost businesses. Grammy's is an iconic restaurant, it's a snowmobile destination. Everybody knows, you know, everybody that's come to the county knows what Grammy's is. You know, they've closed up for good. If you were either out on a sled, on the, on the trails, stopping in for lunch, or you were driving through Linnaeus down on the Bangor Road, um, you'd see that place just swamped with people. And uh, now it's snowed in. I mean, there's nobody, there's nobody there, there's nothing there anymore. Some of them will be gone forever. Some of them, I think, may have a shot at coming back, but, you know, time is of the essence. It's, uh, it's really sad to see what's happened to these, these family businesses up here, these small businesses, to see places like that that just, they're not coming back.